It was quite the occasion at the National Infantry Museum as the Maneuver Center of Excellence celebrated African American Black History Month with a Medal of Honor recipient. Retired Sergeant First Class Melvin Morris was a guest speaker of the event. He was one of the first soldiers to become a Green Beret and volunteered twice for deployments to Vietnam. While in Vietnam, Morris led an advance across enemy lines to retrieve a fallen comrade and single-handedly destroyed an enemy force that had pinned his battalion from a series of bunkers. He knocked out two enemy machine gun emplacements and four bunkers before being shot three times. It was my job to step up, and so I had to go in and take them out, and it was a difficult job. Uh, that battle started around uh, 10 that morning, eight, between 8 and 10. I didn't get out until 6 that evening. And after I recovered the team side and body, I was shot three times, but I told them to leave me. If I went down, don't, don't try to come get me. So I fought till I was able to get out. And the only time I quit is when I ran out of ammunition. I ran out of ammunition and I said, it's time to go. Morris was recognized for his valorous action and received the second highest award, the Distinguished Service Cross, the following year. Within 30 days of receiving the award, he volunteered to return to Vietnam for a second tour of duty. On March 18, 2014, President Barack Obama presented 24 Army veterans with the Medal of Honor. Each of these soldiers' bravery was previously recognized by award of the Distinguished Service Cross. Morris was among the 24 veterans whose case was reviewed and upgraded to the Medal of Honor. The disparity of time to award that which he rightfully earned also reminds us of a significant era in American history, and it underscores the need for his story to be told. Sergeant First Class Morris maintains a continued relationship with both soldiers he saved in Vietnam, and he continues his mission to share his story with the Army as a testament of true courage and heroism. Adam Tucker, Fort Benning, Georgia.